transmitter selection for your RC helicopter uh, follows about the same guidelines as, a, as the helicopter itself. Um, you want to visit your local hobby store and see the local fields that you're going to be flying with and see what predominantly the guys use. Um, specifically, if you're getting into RC helicopters or wanting to learn and advance quickly, um, the guys that are there having good luck with that equipment can then help you. Um, here I've got some Fataba radios. Um, the other alternative is JR and Spectrum, uh, Airtronics, High Tech. Um, all of them offer helicopter radios that offer the setup and all the different features that you need. Um, there's just different levels of those features. Um, for example, I'll use Fataba. Um, this is the 6EX. Um, this is a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Um, it's, it's fairly simple radio, but it gives you all the basic functions like throttle curve, pitch curve, um, you got endpoints, dual rates, exponentials, all the things that can not only make you feel comfortable with the helicopter, but get everything done that you need to get done. Um, next level is like the 8FG. Uh, this transmitter is good because it actually gives you a lot of the functions of the higher end radios, um, but in a little bit simpler, co more cost effective package. Um, and then the 18MZ, which is the top of the line radio. Um, it'll do just about anything you want. It actually runs off of Windows, so there's several different things that you can do with that. Um, the best thing is to find out what your interests are. Uh, if you're interested in just flying helicopters, then choosing something like the ADFG would be great. If you're looking at getting into bigger airplanes in the future or scale that requires more channels and more functions, the 18 would be good. Um, if you're park flying and stuff like that, uh, the 6EX would be great. There's nothing wrong with this radio. so. That covers most of the radio selection.